Bless, bless, bless family and back again with another topic. The topic today, what I've got to talk to you about, guys, is Ham's redemption, or known as racial whitening, or in Spanish, blanquimento. If you don't know that, guys, so stay seated, I'll explain everything to you. Right, so racial whitening, or Ham's redemption, is a social, political, and economic practice used in many post colonial countries back in America or Latin America or uh, places like Brazil, Cuba, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, a lot of places like that. So if you've never heard of it before, guys, sit down and I'll explain this. So uh, they believed, uh, basically, that's part of the eugenics. The eugenics believed that it's basically uh, blank human to or racial whitening is uh, known as improving the race. That means, basically, they're saying that black people are dirty, uh, the cursed, if you never heard of that, the curse of Ham, right, so they were saying that in order to improve it, you need to uh, racial whiten, you know what I'm saying, racial whiten by, you know, mixing, so it's going to take about, uh, they say, so they imported a lot, a lot of many, many people from uh, from Europe, basically white people, into into uh, Latin America, and they said, all right, that they, they gave a lot of people incentive and they proved that basically is saying that, Racial mixing is very, very, it's allowed in all those kind of countries. And it's, and, and, and it's being seen as something really positive to mix, do you know what I mean? But where, whereas in Europe, it's never really seen like that. It's, it's been seen as, you know, it's not nice to improve uh, a, a, a racial mix or anything like that. And, and it's been shunned up on. So what they, what they did is, uh, they, especially the country like Brazil, if you look at it today, uh, probably about 60 or 70% of people uh of a mixed race descent, or of what they call it, mestizos, or uh, or something like that. Uh, so your Spanish, let me know if you speak Spanish or Portuguese. This has happened in uh, around the country that the you know of a Portuguese descent, Spanish descent, and you have to understand that redemptions of Ham. They're saying that in order to solve the Negro problem, you need you have to clean up Brazil, you have to clean up Puerto Rico, you have to clean up Cuba by mixing it. Because they're saying after the, the, the slavery was over and everything, so there was about 90% uh, that, that the civilian and the population of Latin America, the all black. So, but the elite, the mainly of a, uh, some of them are mixed heritage and some of them are uh, clearly white, Hispanic or Portuguese and uh, other ethnicities run, run uh, in the European continent. So that's what they did. They brought in and they allowed mixing and as a result of that even back in london in the 1889 look at that date in 1889 they also there was a there was an artist you know and a paint he painted a paint uh, about race and mixing ideas and it presented that paint in in london uh in the parliament or in uh yeah in the house of parliament and they ha had an argument about it and they're saying that this is what we're going to do to improve Brazil. This is what we're going to do to improve Latin America. Saying that we're, we're going to do, we're going to race and mix everyone. And in 10, 20 years, 50 years, you'll find uh, the race and mix has got improved and uh, you have a fewer black. That's the eugenics. Do you know, the eugenics works really, really like, uh, towards those kind of kind of agendas. And hopefully they, they, they made it really worthwhile and, and it works for them. So what you can see, uh, right now, so let me just explain that guys. What you can see right now in this video or in this picture, there's a picture here, a paint has been painted that, uh, and this picture was known as the Redemption of Ham, right? And this picture has been painted by Modesto Broccoli. Modesto Broccoli back in 1889. And if you look at the picture right now, a white Hispanic sitting in the right hand side and in the middle, you see a mixed race uh, girl or a woman with her little son, which is white, and you see the uh, the one in the left bit is a, a grandmother or the the daughter's mother standing up there and and she uh, putting her hands up to the sky and she's thanking God. That's basically now her Negro problem or the racial problems improved. And her family because she's the, she's the darkest one. It's got her uh, it's got her daughter. It's a black one in the middle. 
this is and that's why what I've got to explain to you guys this is it takes about three to four generation and they're saying that they're right now they're telling you they're showing you an example as well they're showing you that the, about the third generation the little kid which is white and that's how it is that's a lot of people fail to spoke to speak about that and if you look at it right now this is known as Ham's redemption or the redemption or redemption of Ham's and improved the racial genes they're saying that this is in their opinion it's not in my opinion guys they're saying this is how we got improved the racial genes i i'm not you know in any way shape or form i'm not trying to actually look down on my latino black brothers or any any latino black brothers but what i'm saying that's why you see uh they're saying that not all of them but when you go to latin america uh, other uh, places in the Car uh, not caribbean latin america in particular you find people that that black as you but they don't want to be near you because of that system do you understand not because of them because they they were aware of that uh i don't speak spanish but they do so they were aware of that that's why they don't want to be near you mostly mostly they want to take uh, socialize and meet and basically date the opposite race do you know the opposite color if you're if they're black they want to date the opposite color and and so forth so They've seen it also, uh, the opposite colour, let's say, were so-called uh, Latin Re Europeans, that, or white Re Europeans in Latin America. They've seen it as, oh, uh, it's very good for them to actually have a kids uh, from a black person in Latin America, but it's not a very good thing to live together. They know that. They're saying that, oh, uh, so that means someone can be racist and marrying you. They would say, oh, uh, I, for me personally, I don't really mind. I like you because I like the kid that's going to come out of you. It's going to come out as a mixed race and going to come out really nice and lovely and things like that. But I don't like you as a black person. And this is very open in Latin America. People don't know that because of that paint, of that the system that has been uh, implemented in that area, in that Latin America, and particularly just, just right after the... Uh, the colonialization was over or the post-colonial era and uh, nowadays if you look at Latin America it's completely what what happens in the same thing and that's not just Latin America guys this happens it happens well redemption of ham happens in North Africa too but people fail to understand and talk about it but in North Africa it's been happening for centuries it's the same time that's why sometimes in Latin America you find a uh, you find a woman we find the people that is actually often Arab descent or Lebanese descent. Like for example, we have Shakira. She's uh, she's both. She's an Arab descent and a Latin American woman. That's why most of people are important. Uh, they imported the same system back in North Africa, guys. Like, with that being said, family, I hope you understand redemption of Ham. Uh, you know, this video has meant no harm to anyone, guys. Only for someone that needs to learn. Uh, you know, the racial complex into that area it's not really complex as you, as you can see it as it's a thing that just when you open your mind up and you understand how uh brazil how latin america how cuba how uh all those countries in latin america got to that uh position at the moment with that being said so nowadays we're not going to say that basically there's no uh, black people but probably the numbers of black people in latin america is is far 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 more than what you see in the media, far more than what you see in the statistics, because the statistics are always biased. So, with that being said, family, I hope you understand that. I hope you learn something new. If you've got any question, please let me know. Uh, bless, 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 family. Stay blessed, family. Bye.